okay guys now let's come back to part two this part you are going to use the animation part how we can load multiple animation and using the record function character continue to work from where it end so if you are not watch the first video how you can convert your character from a post to t post make sure you check the video or it's it's on the button here click on watch how you can convert your character and switch it to fk using ray motion pro so ray motion pro is been done that allow you to transfer multiple animation to multiple rigs it supports break like auto rig rigify and maze but today here is the same process for rigify auto rig and maze so this one i'm using auto rig for the demonstration this character i have already converted into t pose and i have switched into fk already i have this character and i want to load animation to it first go to the source rig and choose your rig type it's the same process for all the rig type i have auto rig make rigify and maze this character is rigid auto rig so i'll choose auto rig pro and the next thing you have to do is click target rig and click on the select your character rig and click on pick rig this is going to assign the selected rig as your target rig now next thing is we are going to load animation to this character so let's try and load work so i'll type work here if you click on here there's a lot of animation list on here there's over 450 plus animation by here let me search for work you can work here you can also uh, switch by category so yeah let me load work i have a lot of animation with work here but here i'm going to choose working once you click on work click on load animation that's good so let me preview for you to see now we see the character is working it has 25 frames so the next thing you are going to do is how you can add animation to make the character continue work from where she end this animation ends on frame 25 if I want the character to continue to work, I'll go to frame 26 and I'm going to load the same working again. So let's click on load animation and she's going to work. But let's play the animation and see when it reaches 26, it's not back to the root room because the animation starts from there. So how we can fix that? Let's go to frame 25. This is where it went. And let's go to frame 26. This is where it jumped back. Okay, this is the second animation. To make the second animation continue to where the first one end let's go here and let's go down we have fkf tracker this is where you can fix all this it has a lot of features we have a uh, start frame end frame everything under start and end frame is affected or use the start and end frame means it will take it will take effect on those frame that is between the start and the end frame the start and the end frame is included also if i make use current frame active if you make this one active that means the frame you are we see i'm on frame 25 and you can see there's 25 here if i move to frame 27 i can see it's updated if you turn this one off that means you have to you have to type or you have to put the where you want it to be start so here i'll use my current frame as my start frame so i'll i'll stand on frame 26 which is where it jump back and the end frame you since there's no keyframe is here and it's not going to affect them so make sure always your end frame is higher than your keyframe you have or is equal to where you want to be take part okay so here i'll stand on frame 26 and i'll go to here and click on record once i click on record you can see the character is going to stay on that part and you see she is going to continue working from that part you see what about if i want to load another animation work i want to click work again and select our rig here it start jumping back on frame 51 so i'll stand on frame 51 which is where it jump back make sure the end frame is the end frame higher than the frame where this one end or equal to so i'll click on record again and let me play the animation and you can see the character is working continue so the next thing i'm going to do is let load uh, something like run okay so i'm going to load run and i'll click on this to load run and click on load you see she jumped back again so let's stand on frame where she jumped back and let's click on record again so always make sure this one you can see is on not right 100 so it will take effect on those parts so let's go and test okay so once she reach this part you see she she will start running okay so on film 76 we see the cutter foot leave the ground as you can see here but on here the feet is on the ground how you can face this is easy let's go to the frame she jump 
the fruit leave the foot leave the ground and we can use the location uh, we reduce this location okay this location since i said everything under here is affected by this it is this so i will stand on frame 71 where she foot left off the ground and i'll move uh as this that's a corresponding for up and down so we'll make the fit light on the ground so now you can see uh now she is running on the ground okay so the test so once she reach here she is going to start running let's go and load around okay, run to stop let me set for stop and i can load run to stop and let me load it here you know load it she jump back again and now this one you can see the frame ends on here so make sure our end frame is higher than that okay or equal to that part if there's key frame here and don't you don't want to affect make sure it ends this way she jump back on frame 94 so i'll go here and click on record and let's play and now you can see she's going to run so walking run and stop okay okay so the next thing is i'm going to show you how we can face also the feet sliding how to fit if the feet is sliding okay let me go here and i'm going to put my 3d cursor on this side and what i'm going to do is i'll scrub to my timeline okay and at this point the fit support line where our 3d cursor is okay where the 3d cursor is because uh, the body is moving slower than this so what i'm going to do is i'll go here and i say this point this fit supposed to land where the 3d cursor is so let's go down here and i will choose i will not use a current frame i want all this part supposed to be part so i'll choose start frame on frame one okay and the end frame since this one it changed to walk uh run and let's check the run the run is seem okay but or we can include all these parts okay it doesn't matter so let's go there and let's move here on this side and i'm going to use the apply scale so this one check it as is your character used to move up make sure the one is used for up is off for rectify make sure the z is off and the y is on because it is z for up so this character use y for up so that's why this one has turned off so let's do that so on here i'm going to decrease okay i'm going to decrease the scale and once i click on this uh, the character is moving back that we need to increase the scale and let's click on it once you are clicking on it you can see the character fit is moving forward and here you can see it has aligned with the theory character and let's play the animation now you can see the fit sliding has faced you see now it's, it's better than before so let's check again and you can see the fit is not sliding again okay now she's working perfect let's check the run she also will do the run and stop so the next thing i'm going to do is let me put, select the character you see there's no rotation on here once you go to post mode and select the bone you see there's a rotation from here so what this does is let me go here and you can see the character shoulder has go down very far you see it's supposed to be like this and it will be look okay you see how she's working so how we can fix that is by now i'm going to turn on this okay so starting frame and i'm going to where does it want to end but this you can choose where that wants to be end but i'll leave it like this okay that's why i said we have to face every animation you load you have to face all this before you load another animation and it, it, it will be better so this one i'll select this and i'll go to rotation and you now i'll go to rotation it's using data it doesn't matter if there's a volume already in here okay so i'm going to rotate it up like this and i'm going to select this and i'm going to rotate no, i'm going to rotate that one up like this and let's play and now you can see the shoulder has is up it doesn't do that ugly down okay that's better the next thing is what if you want to rotate the hands while she is walking it's very easy 
let's select the hands we want to rotate and let's go to frame we want to start let's say i want the hands to raise starting from frame maybe 12. i will select that and i will choose starting frame on frame 10. if you want to start on frame 1 just start frame 1 but here i want to start on where the current frame is and where does it want to end i want to end on frame 30. okay so i'm going to that frame 30 here and then everything i apply here will be picked on the starting frame to the end frame since i said oh uh, let me go to frame, 10, uh, frame 20 so it will be easy for me to scroll to the okay, frame 15. so here i'm going to rotate the hands up like this and let me rotate this one okay, on z axis you can rotate as you want okay so let me do some rotation like this and let me play once i reach 15 you see the hands will go to rotate like that once i reach on 30 it's not back to its original so let's play so what if you want to blend between the keyframe so it don't jump one by one like this easy select that bones you will add rotation to and let's go to here we have a uh, blend start blend and end blend it's also affected since the end frame is frame 30 that's where this one end we need to stand on the frame 15 and the start blend how many frame want is for start blend and the end blend so let me click on blend and now let me play so since you got uh, now you can see the cutter hands don't jump so let's play instead of jumping it will move and fit that i see that is very cool it's the same thing if you want to add hair rotation you want to make the cutter rotate the head you can go to frame you want to start rotating and tap the frame uh, you want to end okay i want to end on frame maybe let me say 40 or 55 let me say 55 and i want on frame 30 let me go to frame 30 and i'm going to rotate the head to this side so let me go here once i reach frame 30 you see the cutter will take the head when I reach frame 55 the cutter head will be jump to original you see so here and jump let's go and blend the keyframe let's go to where I start uh, looking which is frame 30 and I'll stand on frame 30 and I'll go here and select the head bone and click on blend you can choose keyframe you want to use to blend I can choose 4-4 four, four and blend so you see instead of jumping the head it turned the head and look at that direction so it reach here and she would turn the head to look straight okay so that's very good okay so what about if i want to add animation to a certain part where the other part is also doing its own animation like the hands i want the hands to hold something while she is walking so I'm going to select the hands bone plus, uh, plus the shoulder. Okay, so all this part. And I'll choose selected bones only. Once I choose selected bones only, the animation you're going to load will start from your current frame. Okay, the frame you are is where it's going to start. Let's say on frame 10, I want the animation to start. And where each frame you want to end, let's say I want to end on frame uh, on frame four, on frame 30 or on frame 15. Frame 50 here. Okay, let me search for aim or any animation that make the character hold the hand. Okay, so I have um okay. Let me choose this is standing aim record. I can load this or I can load any animation I want, and that animation is going to load into the selected bones only. So let me click on load, and I can see that animation will load to that selected bones only and the character is going to walk you see she is walking once it reached the frame i said it should stop this animation end on frame uh, on frame this that's why it doesn't reach this part okay so i can go to that frame it's down it come back down like this and i'll click on load again and she's going to continue doing that until it reached frame 50, 50 before it come down okay so let's go and down you can use the keyframe blending it starts on frame 10 okay so let's go frame 10 and let's use the blend so i'm going to select that boost and i'll click on blend and let's play you see instead of jumping you do like this 
it's end of frame 50 so we need we need to type 50 here this end frame is different from this end frame okay so let's go here and start and let's click on blend let's click on blend keyframes so now okay you can change the character direction she's working using the direction okay so i say i want to make the character feel different direction i can use this and that's the part the character is going to use to run or face okay i can change to here i can change it to this any part i want okay you can also insert keyframe with the different direction insert different direction insert again and that's where she's going to work to okay so what's next um 